Have you ever wanted to sell websites to local businesses? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that and charge thousands of dollars for these websites. Now, the first thing we need to do is go over to Google Maps. I'm gonna go ahead and type in AC repair, but go ahead and use whatever niche that you want to do. Preferably something that you've worked on or in the industry before, so you kind of know the talking points. All right, so right here, we're just going to search this area and a ton of companies pop up. So let's just scroll down. I've picked out a few already that just have awful looking websites. So here's the first one. It's called Mark Oil's HVAC LLC, Installation and Repair Services. You may think this is a joke and that this website was built in the early 2000s, but I shit you not, if we scroll down to the bottom right here, it says copyright Mark Oil's HVAC LLC, last updated on February 26, 2024. So this type of website will never get anybody to fall through his funnel. So for example, yes, he does have an email grab over here, but this just looks so outdated. The, the, even the color of this box, that gray, just reminds me of the old style windows. Now let's go ahead and check if this website is mobile optimized. And how you do that is you just go ahead and press F12 on your keyboard. And that's gonna bring this screen up, which shows some source code over to the right and shows you that it's not mobile optimized at all. If it was mobile optimized, it would look something like this. Everything gets condensed to fit it into one screen like this. So this person right here is a prime candidate for someone that you would go ahead and just reach out to with maybe five minutes of prospecting. You could sit on Google Maps and just keep finding horrible websites and then reach out to them and offer them to redo their website and how you do that is you would actually go over to a program that we use called Go High Level. And from here, you can just create a new funnel and then you hit from template, go continue. And then in here, depending on what niche you're selecting, you can just type in HVAC and you can just go ahead and you see this one right here looks pretty good. And you can just go ahead and open this up and then fill in all of their information here. Go ahead and hit continue. So I don't know about you, but just looking here, this website on the right looks a hundred times better and it's a template. So this guy really needs to up his game here. And this is a prime candidate for somebody that you can reach out to and sell a website to today. Now, all jokes aside, let's actually go to some websites that don't look too good, but could use some work. So. Here's another one I found, Irish Air, in this Cincinnati area. Stay cool with Irish Air. And then I can't even read this because, okay, ask us about how to qualify. See, I can't even read this text because the background image is kind of cutting it out. The color of the text blends in with the background. This, These red boxes are horrible. Wait, is that a button? Oh my gosh, oh wow, that's a button. Okay, so the, these are actually buttons. Now, they don't look like buttons to me, they just look like blocks of text. So right away, that's something they need to improve as soon as possible. They need clear call to actions and clear buttons that either have some type of animation that can move, wiggle, or pulse. And then that way, the person that's on this funnel knows where to click, and it's just easier for that to happen and will improve the conversion rates. Now, as we scroll down, I don't know why these are all greened out like this. Like, it looks like somebody hovered over them like, like this. That doesn't look very good. I continue reading, why do we need to read stuff on a funnel? See, you don't want people to come to all of these. Okay, these coupons here. This is just a very outdated style. What they really need to do is just drive one specific action, which would be getting calls. Now, this is good up here. They have the phone number, but they need something clearer. There's just too many pages on here. This website, like tax credits, financing, specials, go green, testimonies about us. If I were to look at their statistics for their website, I would see tons and tons of people going to all of these different pages and then falling off and eventually not buying anything here because it's too confusing. Just remember, a confused mind doesn't buy. So this is another company. They are mobile optimized, which is okay. But like I said, look at, look at how much text is here. Do you really need to have all of this text right here and their number again? You could easily have a widget that has their number follow you down the page as you're scrolling. You don't have to have it every so often. See, this is another company I would reach out to and demo them a website like the one I just showed you and see if they'd like a upgrade because this website obviously isn't doing that well. All right, let's go to the next one I found 
and this one does a little bit better. It's called Greenwood AC Repair. And this is an interesting one because they do have a few modern features. Like I'm gonna move myself over here so you can see, but down here they have a AI chatbot or at least a phone number grab. So right away it's like, hi, how can we help you today? So you can just you know put in your phone number and hit send and then they'll go ahead and either message you right here which the ai chatbot craze is actually pretty big and you can sell chatbots for around 300 to 600 per month and those are monthly services to run because you're connecting them to gpt4 and on the back end you're paying the fees for messages sent but ai chatbots are great because you can really get a lot of conversions out of them because the whole point here is you get somebody's phone number you can start sms texting them you can message them on the website you can start pushing them to the sale or whatever type of action you're trying to take on your website okay having coupons front and center i'm not a big fan of this it works you know these dotted lines around these coupons but it's it's kind of for like an older generation this this button looks good right here people nowadays just want a very clear thing if they're here on this website they found your company they just really want to book an appointment or get on the phone with somebody. So having that front and center or having somewhere you can get a free quote very quickly here, I need a free estimate. This, what I would do is I would even just have this. See, like having the video here, it just doesn't make sense. So I would have their form fill just on the front page. You know, there, there is no reason that you don't have a quick three field grab name, phone number, email, what can we help you with? Like, that's all you need. You don't need any of this other stuff like last name and a, you know, you could have a comment box in there if you wanted to. I thought this was a button right here. I guess it's not. So, all right. So you can see this one doesn't even do it that well. Now, what we would do is we would find a bunch of these really horrible websites like this. And then we would just go over to go high level. And right here, I have one built out that I use for prospecting. And literally all you have to do is just open this up it already has all three pages pre-built out which is great and it's so easy to jump in here and start using ai if you want right here you just hit generate with ai hvac copy you just hit generate and right away it already gives you exactly what to put in here just pop that in and you can just sit here and fill this whole thing out very very quickly with ai and you can go ahead and demo this specific website right to a client or any one of those companies i just showed you this website would convert so much better because it's strategically built to have someone funnel down through it right away you have very clear call to actions top right left as you scroll down you have another call to action book appointment that's the only thing that you're trying to drive on this website which is very very intelligent to have like I said earlier, a confused mind doesn't buy. So you don't want all these different pages like this company had. Look how how much bloat this is, right? You just don't need all that. All right. As you scroll down, it shows what services that you're offering. You get a free consultation. You know, you have this guy here ready to work on your stuff. You can change all these images around very, very, very quickly. Just go in here and just go upload from media library. And then in here, you just go pixel bay and you go repairman and you got tons of people looking and repairing your stuff. So here, here's a perfect example. So if you wanna get some pictures of some HVAC stuff, you come in here, go ahead and click that, and then you just go back. As you scroll down, you can see you have some social proof here, some frequently asked questions, which is very important to have because if you don't have frequently asked questions, you'll have people asking the same exact question all the time. Now, down here, you have a, another form fill. Scratch that last part. And as you get to the bottom, you can have a few more pages. I would actually even just take these out and just try, try to drive that one specific action, which would be book appointment. And all you have to do is hit save and then you publish it. So it's really easy to get started. And that's how I would start with these companies in this niche, because I'm telling you right now, websites like this in 2024 just aren't gonna cut it anymore. And you can go ahead and sell these websites for a thousand to $2,000 to these companies and have it done for them within a week. So that's how I would start doing website selling today using Go High Level, Google Maps, and a specific niche. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.